Hi there. Welcome to our session on Oracle Database Administrator. In this session we will learn about Oracle Automatic Performance Diagnostics. So, let's start our session. Let's start with Oracle Database Diagnostic Monitoring. When problems occur with a system, it is important to perform accurate and timely diagnosis of the problem before making any changes to a system. Often a database administrator, DBA, simply looks at the symptoms and immediately starts changing the system to fix those symptoms. However, long-time experience has shown that an initial accurate diagnosis of the actual problem significantly increases the probability of success in resolving the problem. For Oracle systems, the statistical data needed for accurate diagnosis of a problem is saved in the Automatic Workload Repository, AWR. The Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor, ADDM, analyzes the AWR data on a regular basis, then locates the root causes of performance problems, provides recommendations for correcting any problems, and identifies non-problem areas of the system. Because AWR is a repository of historical performance data, ADDM can be used to analyze performance issues after the event, often saving time and resources reproducing a problem. An ADDM analysis is performed every time an AWR snapshot is taken and the results are saved in the database. You can view the results of the analysis using Oracle Enterprise Manager or by viewing a report in a SQL Asterisk Plus session. ADDM output should be the first place that a DBA looks when notified of a performance problem. ADDM provides the following benefits. Automatic performance diagnostic report every hour by default. Problem diagnosis based on decades of tuning expertise. Time-based quantification of problem impacts and recommendation benefits. Identification of root cause, not symptoms. Recommendations for treating the root causes of problems. Identification of non-problem areas of the system, and minimal overhead to the system during the diagnostic process. It is important to realize that tuning is an iterative process and fixing one problem can cause the bottleneck to shift to another part of the system. Even with the benefit of ADDM analysis, it can take multiple tuning cycles to reach acceptable system performance. ADDM benefits apply beyond production systems, on development and test systems ADDM can provide an early warning of performance issues. Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor The Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor, ADDM, provides a holistic tuning solution. ADDM analysis can be performed over any time period defined by a pair of AWR snapshots taken on a particular instance. Analysis is performed top-down, first identifying symptoms and then refining them to reach the root causes of performance problems. The goal of the analysis is to reduce a single throughput metric called DB time. DB time is the cumulative time spent by the database server in processing user requests. It includes wait time and CPU time of all non-idle user sessions. DB time is displayed in the V$S underscore time underscore model and V$SYS underscore time underscore model views. By reducing DB time, the database server is able to support more user requests using the same resources, which increases throughput. The problems reported by the ADDM are sorted by the amount of DB time they are responsible for. System areas that are not responsible for a significant portion of DB time are reported as non-problem areas. The types of problems that ADDM considers include the following. CPU bottlenecks, is the system CPU bound by Oracle or some other application? Undersized memory structures, are the Oracle memory structures, such as the SGA, PGA, and buffer cache, adequately sized? I.O. capacity issues, is the I.O. subsystem performing as expected? High load SQL statements, are there any SQL statements which are consuming excessive system resources? High load PL slash SQL execution and compilation, as well as high load Java usage. RAC specific issues, what are the global cache hot blocks and objects, are there any interconnect latency issues? Suboptimal use of Oracle by the application, are there problems with poor connection management, excessive parsing, 
or application level lock contention. Database configuration issues, is there evidence of incorrect sizing of log files, archiving issues, excessive checkpoints, or suboptimal parameter settings? Concurrency issues, are there buffer busy problems? Hot objects and top SQL for various problem areas. ADDM also documents the non-problem areas of the system. For example, weight event classes that are not significantly impacting the performance of the system are identified and removed from the tuning consideration at an early stage, saving time and effort that would be spent on items that do not impact overall system performance. In addition to problem diagnostics, ADDM recommends possible solutions. When appropriate, ADDM recommends multiple solutions for the DBA to choose from. ADDM considers a variety of changes to a system while generating its recommendations. Recommendations include Hardware changes, adding CPUs or changing the I.O. subsystem configuration. Database configuration, changing initialization parameter settings. Schema changes, hash partitioning a table or index, or using automatic segment space management ASSM. application changes using the cache option for sequences or using bind variables and using other advisors running the SQL tuning advisor on high load SQL or running the segment advisor on hot objects now let's talk about ADDM analysis results ADDM analysis results are represented as a set of findings each ADDM finding can belong to one of three types. Problem, findings that describe the root cause of a database performance issue. Symptom, findings that contain information that often lead to one or more problem findings. And information, findings that are used for reporting non-problem areas of the system. Each problem finding is quantified by an impact that is an estimate of the portion of DB time caused by the finding's performance issue. A problem finding can be associated with a list of recommendations for reducing the impact of the performance problem. Each recommendation has a benefit which is an estimate of the portion of DB time that can be saved if the recommendation is implemented. A list of recommendations can contain various alternatives for solving the same problem, you not have to apply all the recommendations to solve a specific problem. You can see the example on your screen. In this example, the finding points to a particular root cause, the usage of literals in SQL statements, which is estimated to have an impact of about 31% of total DB time in the analysis period. The finding has a recommendation associated with it, composed of one action and one rationale. The action specifies a solution to the problem found and is estimated to have a maximum benefit of up to 31% dB time in the analysis period. Note that the benefit is given as a portion of the total dB time and not as a portion of the finding's impact. The rationale provides additional information on tracking potential SQL statements that were using literals and causing this performance issue. Using the specified plan hash value of SQL statements that could be a problem, a DBA could quickly examine a few sample statements. When a specific problem has multiple causes, the ADDM may report multiple problem and symptom findings. In this case, the impacts of these multiple findings can contain the same portion of DB time. Because the performance issues of findings can overlap, summing all the impacts of the reported findings can yield a number higher than 100% of DB time. For example, if a system performs many read i slash os the ADDM might report a SQL statement responsible for 50% of DB time due to I.O. activity as one finding, and an undersized buffer cache responsible for 75% of DB time as another finding. When multiple recommendations are associated with a problem finding, the recommendations may contain alternatives for solving the problem. In this case, the sum of the recommendations benefits may be higher than the findings impact. When appropriate, an ADDM action many has multiple solutions for the DBA to choose from. In the example, the most effective solution is to use bind variables. However, it is often difficult to modify the application. Changing the value of the cursor underscore sharing initialization parameter is much easier to implement and can provide significant improvement. 
Now let's talk about setting up ADDM. Automatic database diagnostic monitoring is enabled by default and is controlled by the statistics underscore level initialization parameter. The statistics underscore level parameter should be set to the typical or all to enable the automatic database diagnostic monitoring. The default setting is typical. Setting statistics underscore level to basic disables many Oracle features, including ADDM, and is strongly discouraged. ADDM analysis of I.O. performance partially depends on a single argument, DBIO underscore expected, that describes the expected performance of the I.O. subsystem. The value of DBIO underscore expected is the average time it takes to read a single database block in microseconds. Oracle uses the default value of 10 milliseconds, which is an appropriate value for most modern hard drives. If your hardware is significantly different, such as very old hardware or very fast RAM disks, consider using a different value. To determine the correct setting for DBIO underscore expected parameter, perform the following steps. Measure the average read time of a single database block read for your hardware. Note that this measurement is for random I.O., which includes seek time if you use standard hard drives. Typical values for hard drives are between 5,000 and 20,000 microseconds. And set the value one time for all subsequent ADDM executions. For example, if the measured value is 8,000 microseconds, you should execute the following command as SYS user. Hope you liked the video. We will get to know more topics in our upcoming sessions. Till then, thank you.